we are trying to eliminate the number of operations uh, which have been bolted down by using our zero bolt solution. So that means this kind of solution is super simple to be plugged in. This solution requires less space for in the design, in the electric motors, in the PDOs, as well as also in the batteries. So this is a perfect solution if you have a super tight space in your design and you want to somehow get a uh, mated connection. This is Greg Schultz from Charged, and I'm here with Dave from Stobly. Give us an overview of the company first, and then let's talk about some of the products that you're featuring. Sure. So Stobly is a Swiss company. It's been around for over 130 years. Uh, we have four main divisions. We have a robotics division that specializes in robots for uh, really good, clean environments, so semiconductor, medical applications, and certain applications in the industrial sector that make sense, like food processing is another, another big market for our robotics side. Uh, we have a division that does textile machines. We weave the fabric that goes into most of the airbags in the world. Oh, okay. And uh, we have applications for smart clothing and, and really high-end textiles. Um, so that's another core division of the Stavli group. Uh, and then there's two connector groups. There's a fluid connector group and a electrical connector group. So we're part of the electrical connector group. The focus with, with our group is there's really highly reliable connectors, connectors that can push a lot of current, a lot of energy in a smaller space. Within the electrical connector group, we have a few different sectors. Uh, the renewable energy field with solar connectors. We have large percentage of market share uh, for solar connectors worldwide. But now we're transitioning into uh, the e-mobility world because we see this as the future. And it's, it fits our wheelhouse great because we have high power, high reliability, and optimized for cost. So we were talking earlier about how some of the products that you're featuring today are helping manufacturers address some issues that they might have in product development. Can you tell us a little bit more about sure. that and maybe anything sure. that's new and particularly noteworthy? Yeah, yeah. So we'll start here with our, our first line. This is our CombiTech. <clears throat> you can see here, these are each individual modules that are configurable however you want it to be. So you can do electrical signal, electrical power, you can do fluids, pneumatics, fiber optic, ethernet, any, any kind of connection you would need to make. You can kind of pick and choose which Legos you need and make a connector. Uh, we have a configurator, so you can make it on your phone, you can make it on your laptop, and you can get a design made uh, in a few minutes. It's, it's pretty easy. It'll give you prints, it'll give you contact with the salesperson to get pricing and quotes, anything that you would need to integrate it into your product. So this is something that's really good for rapid development of concepts, especially for like prototyping in, in some of the initial stages to, to kind of prove that the, the technology works. It's also great for industrial applications, so applications where you're going to be plugging and plugging all the time. It's rated at hundreds of thousands of mating cycles. Very strong, very robust, and it's a, it's a great connector for what it is. We're seeing a lot of applications that need this type of technology that go on the vehicle. So the batteries uh, have connections that are on them. Uh, the inverters have connections. Some of the components have uh, a lot of the kinds of connections that we could make. But then when they look at the cost, it's, it's, it's a little bit more on the higher end. So, so you get the, the, the cost benefit of the rapid prototyping and all that without having to pay for tooling. But then we can take the concepts that we develop with the CombiTech and then industrialize them into a cost optimized solution. So you're still having the same contacts, the same everything, but now this is designed specifically for your application, which works in, in high volume applications that could then reduce the cost and make it feasible to, to have whatever you need, whatever kind of connection that you would need in your product at a low cost. Joined now by Michael from Stobly. You're gonna tell us a little bit more about the products that you're featuring and kind of how they're helping manufacturers solve some issues that they might be experiencing. I see like at the moment the big trend in the automotive industry to to have a deeper look in all the different bolt-on solutions because bolt-on solutions have uh, a couple of disadvantages when, when it comes to time during the assembly, uh, the risk of uh, untightening during vibrations, and of course also a lot of other stuff when it comes to electrical resistance. So we are trying to eliminate the number of operations uh, which have been bolted down by using our zero-bolt solution. So that means this kind of solution is super simple to be plugged in and we can save a lot of time during the assembly and also a lot of space during the design uh, approach so because this solution requires less space for in the design in the electric motors and the PDOs 
as well as also in the battery. So this is a perfect solution if you have a super tight space in your design and you want to somehow get a uh, mated connection be done. It's also a big advantage when it comes to maintenance. So that means if there is something where you need to look into it during the, the service and you just need to disassemble the inverter and the motor side, it's much more convenient, much more easy to just only unplug it instead of using, uh, you know, torque drivers and all this stuff. So, yeah. As that's kind of where we sit today. Do you have any future looking content, any, anything that you're working on right now that maybe your partners have mentioned to you as a problem and you're working on a solution for that? Yeah, I mean, definitely one topic which comes to my mind is the topic aluminum versus copper. So of course, electric vehicles getting more heavier and more heavier because everybody wants to charge super fast. So people start to look also into the aluminum because aluminum has the advantage that it's more light, it's, it's less expensive. So there we are, we are looking for some solutions which are also capable to be equipped on aluminum bus bars. And then the other thing which we see at the moment is a big upcoming topic is cooling in the, in the onboard sector. So that means in the car to get also the big cross sections lowering because it's a lot of weight and a lot of costs which you can try to, to get down. So now that we've heard a little bit about some onboard solutions, you're going to tell us a little bit more about this system here, correct? Yeah, yeah, great. So this is the, the MCS. So uh, a few years ago, back in 2018, the trucking industry came together and they said, we need a unified connection for the trucking industry. We don't want to have everybody have their own connector. We want to have one unified connector and we want it to be standardized among all the different manufacturers. Their main requirement was they wanted to be able to get eight hours of operation on a semi-truck with 30 minutes of charging to get another eight hours of operation with 30 minutes of charging, and that was kind of the, the goal. So this is 3.75 megawatts with the full maximum power uh, with liquid cooling on the vehicle and on the, the infrastructure. And Sobley has been involved in driving this standard and driving the development of this since the, the initiation of the, the concept. So it fits our wheelhouse because we specialize in high power and we also specialize in, in robust and rugged applications both on the infrastructure and on vehicle. So this is where we are today. This technology is so new that this is our one of our earlier prototypes. There's a new one that we have that's reduced the size about half, which is a lot more streamlined, which we're excited to show once uh, once that's available. And then we also have the inlet that would go on the vehicle in here. So most of the major uh, truck OEMs are working with Sobley on this inlet and then also on this. Uh, we've industrialized the solution, optimized it for cost and also for uh, performance. And then the infrastructure side, uh, we've been able to integrate liquid cooling to achieve the reliability and the power that we need to do this type of connection. So you mentioned that this would be used for trucking. Could it also be used for off-highway equipment? So for, for construction, for, for mining, for certain applications, this is definitely being used. For anything that's a manual connection, the MCS is definitely the way to go. And it can be used in boats, it can be used in ferries, it can be used in any kind of application that would need more power than a typical automotive charger can handle. Thanks very much. All right, my pleasure.